in this video I'm gonna show you some of the benefits you can get from this exercise of John Riley. No matter the styles you normally play, I'm sure it's gonna help you to improve your coordination, time, feel and overall confidence while playing. But before we jump into the exercise, I would like to show you quickly a few examples of some great drummers that are using this concept. Check out how Nate Wood creates tension by adding notes between the snare and the bass drum. Or Mark Juliana here. By the way, there is a great album by Kenny Durham called Una Mas. It's Tony Williams playing, it's great. If you haven't checked it out, just do it, please. You will find this concept all over the album. First step, find a medium tempo that you feel comfortable with. Start with the first permutation and play just quarter note on the right cymbal if you feel that it's too complicated. And of course, don't forget to stay relaxed at all times. Second step, just play 8 bars with each permutation. Third step, play with the right pattern and try swing and a straight feel. Now it gets a little bit tricky because we will try slower tempos. Set the metronome at 70 BPM and try until you feel all your limbs, all your body is totally comfortable. Tip, rely a little bit more on your wrist when you are playing slower instead of rebound or fingers. Fifth step and the last one. Find what is the faster tempo you can play it while still feeling relaxed and in control. And then increase the tempo 5 BPM and work on it every day. After a week or so, hopefully you got it relaxed and you can try 5 BPM faster. At this kind of tempo, I find it extremely effective adding note by note, like this. John Riley says in the video, it's really important to practice this exercise using different dynamics. So with so many videos out there, you may ask me, why should I practice this, right? So let me tell you, based on my students and my own experience while playing, there is a common factor where something is not working, coordination and technique. Usually we are dealing with several tasks at the same time. We interact with musicians, we have to stay focused on the structure of the song and changes, and sometimes even reading music. But we can do that freely if we are dealing with coordination problems. When we feel uncomfortable with our limbs, our time, feel and groove suffer. Therefore, there are more chances for us to make mistakes with the tasks I mentioned before. 
So improving your coordination will give you more freedom, confidence, and control. The next question is, where can I use these variations? Pretty much all groups and fields are combinations of these exercises. Also, in an improvisational context, you can use it to answer a phrase, and for example, to create tension like Mark Juliana, Tony Williams, and Nate Wood did. What to play? This is, of course, a very personal thing. But since music is a language, there are some things that usually work pretty well. For example, pick up a song that you know quite well. Find where's the climax of the song or a solo. Try to use one of those permutations and build up using dynamics. See how is the effect we create with it. Does it fit to that specific part of the song? Is there too much drum activity for it? In John's video, you will find more combinations using triplets. Once you've got these ones, you may be interested in checking out the other ones. It really gets spicy. Before we wrap it up, I would like to highlight one of the things that John says in the video. Pretty much all I play is this with interruptions. Mostly interruptions. I believe it's important to create space between phrases and to experiment a lot to see what is best for the music you play. That's it! If you like this video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.